Hello YouTube, I want to tell you something interesting again from the notes of the brilliant Russian researcher, scientist and author Valentin Psalomshikov. I don't have more information but this is fascinating in itself and who knows maybe one day more will be published somewhere in Russia and then I'll bring this information to you. Um, I'm not sure. It has to do with time, again, and uh, what we can learn from the idea of time. Salomshikov mentioned that um, he already talked about the attempts of specialists and experts in various fields of knowledge to get information from the past, in particular with the help of a special photograph, events that took place in the process of photographing decades ago, what happened decades ago, were recorded. The voices of people after their death are recorded on tape. Unfortunately, there is no time machine yet. Some experts claim that it is fundamentally impossible. But a person is curious. He wants to look into his past. He seeks and finds other ways to circumvent the fundamental principle of causality. If you can't go back to the past, then you can at least try to look into it. In the early 1990s, experiments were conducted at the St. Petersburg Scientific Research Center Consciousness to study the phenomenon of retrocognition, clairvoyance of the past. The researchers proceeded from the assumption that the psychic material essence accumulates the history of past generations in the pedigree of a given person. That is, in a sense, the memory of ancestors that science fiction writers have described more than once in their works is realized. The staff of the center tried to put this idea into practice. The research was carried out in laboratory conditions in a special shielded chamber. Bioelectric activity of the brain, electrooculogram, pupil movement, and galvanic skin reaction were recorded in the subjects. The duration of one experiment was 15 to 20 minutes. Ten people, ten people were examined. The group consisted of two men and eight women between the ages of 25 and 47. The subjects were physically and mentally healthy. They were representatives of a wide variety of professions, cook, nurse, engineer, economist, teachers, no special knowledge. They didn't have any special knowledge in any history field. Um, the degree of detail of the paintings from the past was high for all subjects which made it possible to subject the data to the simplest statistical processing. Moreover, a number of subjects observed repetitive patterns during the experiment. According to the reports of the subjects, the time and geography of the events they observed stretched from prehistoric times to the 19th century, from the Adriatic to Ceylon, Sri Lanka. Let us give as an example as an example, the visual picture observed by the first subject, Dr. O.K. That's the name give, given to him, abbreviation. A woman in purple clothes, a chariot driver gilded with 12 spokes and wheels, two horses, black and white. The woman sits down next to the driver. They drive, they get off together. They went to the wall. The woman opened the wooden door. Uh, there is a potter inside, outside the door. He is sculpting products from red clay. Before firing, a part of the surface was sprinkled with salt. The pattern was applied with three juice, similar to liquid resin. Let us give as an example. Um, let's see if there is another. Okay. So let's continue with Dr. O.K.'s uh, vision. Um, then 
she said, they w we walk through the city, buildings made of gray stone. There are a lot of people, bright cloth clothing, mostly white and purple. Their heads are covered with white. For men, the veil is secured with a twisted handkerchief. For women, it is uh, draped over the head, covering the face below the eyes. There are coins in use in the bazaar which depict either a crab or a lobster. The subject believes that this was the north of Africa. Uh, they have not determined the time of this action. During the second experiment, uh, she got to the same place and with the same driver, but only at night. She saw people sleeping, um, beds in the niches of the walls. She defined the time as 200 BC. The fragmentary nature of the paintings um, is apparently due to the short duration of the experiment, 15 to 20 minutes. And unlike ordinary dreams, events during retrogression take place in real time. By, by saying paint, paintings here, the more, most correct word, I think, would be visions. In foreign languages, sometimes they're interchangeable, but I think here visions is more appropriate. So this subject, Yava um, LG, that's the abbreviated name. She saw three uh, visions, three scenes in turn during the first session. After the second session, she compiled the simplest dictionary of the ancient language, which included 40 words. According to her, the scene was Sri Lanka, uh, the southern tip of the island, not far from the sea. Um, Daluona identified um, the, the date identified was the year 458 BC as the young man who explained to her the meaning of some words. His name was Likonur Diamitha, and the country was called Digusa. During the first session, the subject saw the scene of the death of this young man, Likonur Diamitha. He died during a duel with another young man. Both were naked to the waist and fought with bone daggers with strong, strongly curved blades. Both of them, they walked in a circle trying to strike first. A large crowd gathered in which the culprit of the duel stood out, a dark-skinned girl with braided hair. The sun was setting. Um, Likanur involuntarily looked towards the sunset and his opponent stabbed him in the right side with the knife. The duel ended and the women dressed in light clothing wrapped the body of the dead man in a thin cloth and carried him on a stretcher to the cave. And that's all I have. It wasn't easy to read the text um, itself. So you have to excuse my stumblings, but I wanted to bring it to your attention. And I'm like I said, I'm hoping to find out more of Salomshikov's notes. Uh, uh, he passed away, as far as I know, in 2021, and he was a very knowledgeable person. And I keep bringing more information about his discoveries, which are, of course, virtually unknown um, outside of Russia, and believe me, a few people in Russia know them. Too bad. And um, if you like my research, uh, please kindly support me through the links you'll find in description to this video. And of course, I'll bring you more interesting videos on subjects you may not find anywhere else. Uh, but that's what I like. Please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, and please tell others about my work. Thank you.